Right then lads, we are here, episode 6 of the Newcastle United career mode. If you have not watched episode 5 already, I'm going to spoil what happened. So we played in the Premier League and the Carabao Cup, two games, and we got beat against Chelsea 3-1 away from home, which now puts us third in the Premier League table, but beat Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup, which progresses us to the quarterfinals. I don't know who we've actually got yet, so if I cut on the calendar, we're going to find out if it actually has been announced. It's not been announced yet, so... That's how we, in this episode, if the Carabao Cup game doesn't clash, I don't think it will, we will play Arsenal at home, the Forest away, and then we'll end on an international break, going into episode 7, that's when the busy fixture starts, December comes up, some really tough games, but good games coming up. Third in the Premier League, got obviously the game during the week might affect the fitness, so I might make a couple of changes going into the game versus Arsenal, but we'll have to wait and decide. Let's get it now, boys. Let's, I'll show you the team that I'm going to play against Arsenal. For some reason, this is going to be the team we're going to play. For some reason, Botman or Gehi have got like lower fitness. Like Gehi has got 82, and then Botman's got 100. But I dropped Botman and played Gehi. Then Gehi still hasn't up his fitness. I don't know, but um, from the game versus Aston Villa, the only change will be Sven Botman. Apart from that, I think stays the same. I feel sorry for Harvey Barnes because he's done well recently, but. Um, we're going to start with Gordon for this game. Hopefully some memories from last season. Obviously we beat them 1-0 at St. James's Park. Hopefully we can do the same again. Let's get into now, boys. Arsenal at home. Let's have it. So here we are. Arsenal at home. Third versus and fifth. Let's have it. Keep eyes. Why you punched that, Nick Pope? Are you for fucking real? Oh, yeah, this game, man. What am I meant to do there? Yet again, I press X and it doesn't clear the ball. Why is Nick Pope punching that as well? I bring him out from his goal line to catch it. Why is he punching that? He's been disappointing, Nick Pope. I generally might look like trying to get a goalkeeper in January because it's been really disappointing. He's onside. I've watched it. Anthony Gordon. 1-1, Anthony Gordon, what a finish, what a pass, I don't know who made that pass, where I am giving me the credit, that was an unbelievable ball, 1-1, one, one, back into the game, lovely pass, I thought Gabby I might have just got to it um, before I attempted to shoot, but Anthony Gordon, back in the net, 1-1, one, one, straight back into it boys, get in. Oh, it's 2-1 man, I couldn't get there, Trossard scored again. I just couldn't get there with Shaw when he's had time to shoot. Like, really, I think Nick Pope should probably save that and all. Brilliant by Isaac. Joe Litton's on the wing. I mean, Gordon's on the wing. How are you, referee? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, he's lost it. Be half time now. Half time. 2 1. I mean, the probably the, the probably have deserved it, to be fair. Arsenal have been the better team. Had more shots and slightly more possession. There's not been much in it, but we'll have to wait and see what we can do. Oh, I've been sent. Oh, he scored. It's 3 1. I've been absolutely set. I couldn't do nothing out there. They're just passing the ball about. And then again, Nick Pope shouldn't get beaten. Who's near post there? Is it time to, to, to look at a new keeper in January? Because we're conceding way too many shit goals. And there we go, full time, another defeat in the league. Back to back defeats in the league, obviously two tough games, Chelsea and Arsenal, but Newcastle get beat 3-1. Don't want to come back and make a 1-1, but honestly, versus Saliba, I've got him on the team and he's absolutely, absolutely lethal, so... What the fuck's a fireworks going on? Anyways, fucking, I'll show you the team that's going to get played against um, Nottingham Forest. I've just checked the calendar there and we have got West Ham in the cup in the quarterfinals at home as well, which is not too bad. But we'll go into this game versus Nottingham Forest now. I think I'm going to change something up in the team. Read then, Forest away. Currently, Forest are sitting 16th in the league, so they're sitting down the bottom uh, struggling. The only change I have made is um, Gay and Botman are back together um, with both of them. Obviously, Shaw's been dropped on the bench and Barnes is on, on the right hand side. This is a must win run, some little bit of little bit of pressure. I think we're sitting fourth in the league now, but we're pushing away from the top three teams, so we need to try and stay in top four before the um international break is here. Yeah, but Forest away, let's have it. Reed, if I pass it at ease, I'm gonna try and hit it first time. Oh it nearly worked as well. Ooh, Bruno's ball in. Goes to Joel Linton. Off the line. Lucky. 
Barnes. Bruno, get in! 1-0, Bruno G. I actually want the ball to go to ease out, but Bruno scores. I don't think he scored much in the career mode. He gets that goal a little bit late. Well, obviously, it wasn't at late, but the goal against Forest last season away from home. Chip out with the ball and he scored a, a volley, but little, little one at the back stick again by, by Bruno at the city ground. 1-0, come on. Good save, Nick Pope. And that's half time. Nick Pope makes a brilliant save. To keep us um, winning at the break. 1-0. I feel like like that was their first shot of the game. Like, they haven't really done much. Like, so, if we were to concede, or to, yeah, to concede now, it would not be good. Set off now. Let's have it. No. Good save. Get that. No, 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 no. <sighs> oh, what a save. Great chance by Isaac. So close. Get in, it's squeezed in. Harvey Barnes makes it 2-0. That was such a second goal we needed. Harvey Barnes. I thought the keeper was going to get that. I thought he took too much on it. 2-0. Honestly, that was getting stressful in this game, boys. Because you didn't know what to do. It won nil. Especially away from home and stuff. Oh, Harvey Barnes done all he said. He's took on the centre half. I just thought the keeper was going to get there. Luckily, it's Max Sells in goal. 2 0. Come on. Brilliant tackle by Bruno. Who's finds Alex? Oh, he's done brilliantly the centre half there. And there we go. 2 0 win away from home and a clean sheet. Uh, is that only our second clean sheet of the season? It actually might be. Deserve that more than anything. We deserve the win. Are we going at the international break in a comfortable position? We will end the episode off there, but we'll look at the league table. Going into episode 7. So we'll have a look at the league table. We're back up to third way. Above Arsenal, they've still got a game to play. But even Fulham are in fifth. Like Man United, Spurs and Chelsea down there. If we look at the bottom of the league, how's it actually looking? Quite tight. What, like, there's From 20th all the way till 14th, there's three points. But good way to end on the episode. A clean sheet and a win. Next episode, you can see we've got West Ham there, but we're going to end off the episode there, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah,